Hey guys, it's Cindy at Cindy Loves Jewelry, and I'm opening a jewelry jar, and I'm showing you that it was $7.99. So here we go. Okay. Hmm. That's huge, miss. And here's the match to it. Get my hand out of the way. Not very attractive. Ooh, that's a pretty bracelet with a little heart. And let's see. Does it open? I'm going to see if that heart opened. Nope. I don't think it does. And it's not signed. And it's magnetic. So, leave that there so I'm, if I need it. Uh a little rosary with a thing on it and I don't know what those things mean so it's like a family mm. that's pretty very pretty this little stone that stone looks to be um, black. Okay. Non-magnetic. Of course, the class is magnetic. So we will test this to see if it is anything. <laughs> I don't see any kind of riding anywhere trying to look up inside that bale so um, very pretty so let's see if we can get that is that going to be too high it may be too high oops it fail it fail oops of course i would lay it on there backwards there we go. Yeah, is that too low? That's too high. There we go. Not too. That's too high. Okay. So I don't know how pretty does it. There you go. And it, nope, you still can't see that. Okay, that's okay. We travel on. Okay. Now. <coughs> I don't know where the rest of that is, but that is tangled. And I think you can have to stop the video and untangle a bunch of stuff. So, I'm going to stop. Okay, we are all entangled. I seriously think that anybody that uses stupid wire here for necklaces should be hung and shot. I hate this stuff. With a passion, I hate it. So, I'm going to put it just a little silly wire bin necklace that's not worth a dollar. And then this one is really pretty. It is a, um, uh, I'm trying to go over here with my camera. It is pink and blues and cream colors. And it is, uh, signed with this hang tag right here, which looks like a... Let's see if I can get a focus. Looks like a CG. Okay, it's not going to focus for me. Um, anyway, so it was a mess. A mess. And here's another one of those silly wire things that was in it. And I got it undone. Oops. It had an earring caught on it. So, anyhow. And then there's these uh, collars, sleeve stays. Okay, and 
this necklace and it's kind of cool it may still be tangled up of course anytime they have all these little dingle dangles on them they are really hard to keep um are you kidding me okay how does it go like that okay looks like that and okay and it's a black and gold black half black half gold so and it is not signed so this one here is signed DOL and it's just a little silver tone necklace and uh, it keeps wanting to come fastener with that little bead it's really cute oh if they're signed they go in there this one here is not signed but it has this very distinctive class but it's not anything I know and um, it has that little heart pendant so it's pretty this little bracelet is really pretty lots of sparkle to it no signature this little necklace with this big sparkly rhinestone is on Chico. Um, no signature on this and it is not magnetic so I will test it. It looks handmade. It may be silver so I will test it. This one here <coughs> is signed to Avon. Very pretty. Oops, let's see if I can get it. And there you go uh, a clear blue stone with little pearls on the side of it signed Avon oh, I can't remember was that signed no that one was not signed but it doesn't matter we know where it's going because it's a froggy do you see the froggy froggies live at Cindy's house there, ain't he cute? With little green eyes in his crown. He's a prince froggy. If you kiss him. This one here is not signed. And part of its clasp is missing, but I can fix that. This one here is signed AEO, American Eagle Outfitters. It's a bracelet with a button clasp. Uh cheap stretchy beads these are interesting there's this orangey pink one there's no clasp on them and no signature oh there is a clasp I'm sorry but there's no signature on it it's a box clasp but they're really interesting I don't think I'll have any trouble selling those <coughs> it's orange oops picked up second necklace and then here it is in blue and gold tone beautiful and here's a beautiful little cross and I suspect it may be sterling I'm going to test it I did not look at the cross very closely to see if it had any marks on the actual cross but I don't see any so I will test it the chain is also non-magnetic so this is very pretty it is mixed rhinestone colors and it is not signed and this one is a pain in the derriere it is multiple 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 one one two three four five strands all different um sizes all different styles and then it has a um locket on the inside and i've just seen something that looks like a signature on it so we're going to look at it and no it is the grape leaf on the grape so anyway but it has a box clasp like that 
can is very this template. But I have no signature on it. So it's very pretty. Unsigned. And I'm reaching for a sandwich bag to put that little evil thing in because it took me forever to untangle it. So, and I know I'm probably talking too soft. I'm sorry. So, there we go. Unsigned. Okay. This little thing here is a peridot. And it also is unsigned, a little drop necklace, a little peridot looking green, light green, adventuring looking uh, stone inside of it. And then the little bead is unsigned. And here is a square bracelet. Here is a religious bracelet. And some miscellaneous earrings that I'm just going to leave. Oh, and a marble. Somebody lost their marbles. And that is a clay flower made out of what looks like to be Fimo clay. So, okay, let's pull some more of this out of here. Go ahead and get it all dumped out. Ooh, there's a box. Okay, come on. Ouch. Something stuck me. That brooch right there. The brooch. There, yeah, you got me. Okay. Hopefully, you don't have to stop again and untangle. There we go. Okay. Hopefully. So, here is a stretchy bracelet. Definitely unsigned. These are vintage gla uh, plastic beads. Okay. I can't get them fastened. So they're just plastic, no signature. Uh, a cheap corded necklace. I do not like cord necklaces. There's the other flower. It's just lost its back. So I have back so I can fix it. Oh look. It's a, a perfume bottle or a flask. No, it's a perfume. It's got a little thing like that. Beautiful, but it has lost a stone. But I think I can probably find one that will go in it. So, we shall try. Let's see. A letter opener. And he looks to be all brass. I'm going to leave him to the side. Uh, three. They say 14 karat gold dipped. Hmm. We'll see. Oops. What is that? I don't think that's part of the necklace. I'm trying to figure it out. Is it? No, it's not part of the necklace, but I don't know what it is. I'm going to figure that out. Anyway, a necklace that has something weird stuck in it, but I'm pretty sure it's not part of the necklace. In fact, I'm positive it's not part of the necklace. I don't think. Anyhow, so definitely weird. A uh, cupcake necklace, and it looks like one of those that I've seen from the children's place, but it's not got a hang tag on it. So, 
an earring without a thing. Let's see what this says. A on Pazia. There's some little bitty rotten inside of it. Let's see what it says. Hmm. No, nope, no little bitty rotten. Kepazia. It is magnetic, so no clue what it is. <clears throat> this has a hang tag. Looks like an Avon hang tag. Yep, SAQ. It's an SAQ piece. And it actually has an extension on it, so. An extender, so. It's a pretty little piece. I wonder. Looks like something went there. We'll see. If we find anything. Uh, parts of it. parts of it's magnetic, parts of it isn't. Earrings. Uh, okay. Whatever in the world are you? Okay, I see you're broken. Is what you are. Uh, beads. A beaded necklace. It's broken. I don't like beads very well. We all know this. This goes to a um, necklace of some kind. A money clip. A man's money clip. Let's see if it is. This says made in China. It don't have a brand on it. A pair of cut out, oops, cut out shell earrings. That have part of their sticker still on the back of them. So, I can pull that out. A pair of dingly dangly, those kind of earrings. Let's see what this says. Ooh, it's cute. But it's missing a little green stone right there. I bet it's Charming Charlie. Let's see. What that tag says. Nope. What does that tag say? Oh, we'll just have a look, have a look, see with the old loopy loop. It says, who knows? Oh, etc. It says etc. So that's a very distinctive color green, but I might have something like that in my in my uh, stash. A stretch ring with all kinds of little Florida leaves on it. That's kind of cool. A um, scarf clip. Ooh, I hope the other one of those is in there. It's pretty. A little ring. A little stretchy ring. Another little stretchy ring with a butterfly on it. And here's the second pair of earring, second earring I was holding there. And I think they say, um, Premier in there. I think it says Premier. It's pretty worn over there. Yep, yeah, it's Premier. The Premier. They're very nice. Put them in the side bucket. Okay, N is for nice necklace and earring set. A um, Olympic torch pin bat. We can see what that says on the back of it, if anything. It says W22. I don't know what W22 means, but. Anyway, it's a W-22. Uh, canoe water, 19. Hmm. 
Uh, U.S. Olympic Festival 90. Can you see that? It's a, it's a pin back. Anyway, from 1990, I guess. Let me put it in there. Let's see what that is. Oh my, I love him. Isn't he pretty? A little enamel fish. I don't think he has anything on the back of him. He is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, a brooch. That kept sticking me. No, oh, that's not the one that kept sticking me, is it? And it is signed. And it is signed Napier. Here. <coughs> Can't get it to twist. <coughs> a really pretty little leaf brooch. It's not time. Excuse me, I need a drink of water. Thank you. Okay, these, this says hitchhikers. Take them for a ride. Okay, I see. It's a, it's a uh, charm to put it on your hoodie. So, I see. That's cute. Montana Silversmiths. I wonder if it's silver. If it's 925. So, wonder why you would call something silversmith when it's not silver. Anyway, some more little rings. Um, that's an earring. I know, I'm too literal for my own good. I hope that one's there. I like it. Tangled mess. I do not like tangled messes. Do we know that? Okay, there we go. There's that one. And it is a heart on one of these little silver chains that is not marked anything. Oh, and it's got purple rhinestones inside of it. And it is magnetic to, and this one here is just a little necklace. I don't see anything that was on it, so we'll lay it aside there. Okay, I don't see the match to that. I hope we find the match to that. Ooh! Oh, 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 isn't that pretty? Oh, it says something inside of it, too. Let's see if we can see. Nope, that's not. Hmm. Nope. It's not silver. I mean, it's not marked. But it's not magnetic neither, but I don't know. We'll test it. We shall test it. Here's another one of those little rings. Um, A horseshoe necklace with rhinestones. Let me get the rhinestones to come down there. Horseshoe necklace with rhinestones. And it does not have a signature. It's really cute. Let's see if the horseshoe's signed. Nope. Horseshoe's not signed. 
and it is magnetic. And here is a little gold horseshoe, gold tone horseshoe necklace. It's got little rhinestones in it. Um, they look to be brownish. It does have a little hang tag on it, but oh, I was going to say it says nothing, but I'm wrong. It does say something. It says Stella and Dot. So, I think this is the first Stella and Dot piece I've ever found. So, oops. Sorry if I moved you. The camera caught on that. Oh, a guitar. And it says Petco 2020. It's a charm. I'm put it in there. There were bunches of, of those little rings. Uh, this is a little angel with a little gold tone harp. A little adjustable ring that <clears throat> I don't know what it is. It's looks like it says something, but I I think it says promise. No, it says princess. Princess. Okay. Here is a huh. I'm gonna guess Onyx chips. Four ninety nine, it's not signed. They are glass of some sort. Here is a heart necklace, and it says something on it. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> it says Mary Kay. So I would guess that's a Mary Kay reward necklace. So, let's see. Another little angel. And you know... Looks like a little pewter guy. Okay. Really cute. Okay, here's another necklace. Oh, that's pretty. Really, really pretty. Look at that. Can you see it there? Let's see. Mm. That's pretty. And it has a signature. So let's see what it says. It says NR Avon. Oh, that is that Nina Ritchie for Avon? I think it is Nina Ritchie for Avon. That is beautiful. Really pretty. Let's see. That don't have a match. There's a Ranger boat tack pin. There is another little angel tack pin. Let's see. I'm still looking. There was nothing that this went that went on this. A little, oh yeah, there it is. I bet that little cross went on that. So I'm going to put that little cross on there. I'm going to lay that aside and put that on there. Uh, there's no match to that. And no match to that one. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I want to see... It's non-magnetic. I don't think it's gold. Just from the way the metal looks. So, but I'm going to lay it over here to test it. So, uh, 
little earring. Little earring. That one is really pretty. I was really hoping to find it. But it could be in the other jar. So I'm going to leave all these mismatched earrings laying right here. For doing the other jar. So, oh, and um, that can go in there. It's just a little pin. And there's actually two of these little hearts. And I bet they went together. That they're supposed to be together. So, that's another mismatch earring thing. And there's a little um, locket, a little bitty locket really pretty so drop them there and then we'll put those there okay and this is what I saw that made me want the thing and uh, it's a beautiful courting couple thing but it has no fastener no pen no nothing I guess you could probably, because it doesn't set flat, probably could get a jump ring right in there. So, that's what I'll try to do. Of course, since I just collect them, it'll probably just go on my dresser. So, it's beautiful. So, thank you, and watch for the next one, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back just a second to uh, tell you the results of some of the testing I did. So, this ring right here is sterling silver. And I'm not sure what that stone is, if anybody has any idea. But this is major sterling silver. Very heavy. Beautiful piece. So, on you know, my star box. And this necklace right here, the chain and the cross are sterling. You can go on my stone box. And this says 14 karat gold dipped, but they did not test for 14 karat gold, but they did test for 10 karat gold dipped. So, that's the conclusion of that. So, thank you. Y'all all have a good night. Thanks for watching.